Hey guys, it is Sonia coming to you live tonight from Jug Monkey Paint Company. How's everybody out there in Facebook world doing? Pop on my friends as you say hello. Let me know who's watching. It is Monday evening. I just had to ask Carrie here. We're working behind the scenes, packing and shipping. There's there's like a bird's eye view of a little bit of what's going down. Hey, Marsha, you're my favorite. You're the first person to say hey. Hey, Sonia with a Y. How are you? Hey, Patty. What are you guys all up to tonight? Jolene, how are you, girl? Nice to see you on here. Danita, oh my gosh, Danita, what have you been working on, girl? Valerie, oh, I love it when you guys all say hello to me. Renee, say hey. Oh my gosh. Melody, I'd love to know where you guys are all watching from, too. That is so cool. As our Facebook page grows, I know that we are picking up people all across this wonderful planet. So say hello and tell me where you're watching from tonight. So I have painted, I couldn't tell you, how many doors, okay? Could not tell you how many doors I have painted in my lifetime. I have a bunch that I still have kept as displays around my shop and I always have people come in and say, how do you get that effect? I absolutely love it. Hey Patty, you got a wreath finished? Well, I hope it turned out better than mine the other day. My husband did not like my wreath the other day. You know what, it's gonna make a comeback. If you saw that home talk, I'm gonna tell you, it's gonna make a comeback and we're gonna make it gorgeous. I'm telling you right now. Hey Kelly, how are ya? Hey Britt. So, Distress Tile Doors, okay, they can, you know, I've been doing a, this finish on doors for a while and people buy them, you know, what do you think you would use a door for? Give me some ideas, what would you use an old wooden door for? Maybe you already have it. Do you want to see the comeback, Karen? Stay tuned, my girl, stay tuned, this week it's coming up, maybe in the next few days. So, who out there has used a wooden door as part of the decor if you're a shabby, distressed, old time, vintage lover, that sort of thing, red gar garland, I love it. Did you see those boho curtains I posted? Like, yeah, I think we might need to have like a DIY night where we make a set of those. How cool would that be, right? Melody's been working. Oh, you used a, your door for your headboard. That's brilliant. Yes, love that idea, right? You can turn it sideways, put it above your bed. Um, people also buy them. They bought them from me to put outside of their, um, their porch. They kind of like stand it up to give some height to their porch and put a chair in front of it with a little posy on it, that sort of thing. People have been using them for like for wedding decor. I've even had uh, customers buy them and uh, put their names, you know, use it like a chalkboard, that sort of thing. All kinds of fun stuff, right? A desk, yes, absolutely. Put it flat, put legs on it. Yes, you can get legs at Lowe's and Home Depot and all those fun places, right? So anyway, I, am, I use this door. I've had this door for several years. Let me just tell you, it is actually my door that I put outside when I open um, each day. This, is, this door has been with me for a long, long time, ever since I first opened my doors. Uh, my brick and mortar store doors like two and a half years ago and I'm a girl on a budget right so I'm gonna use what I got if you're in my coaching group I always say you know what you don't need the best of everything you just need something right and done is better than perfection but I think this door actually is perfection so I'm glad how it came out all I did was paint it distress it and then I just hand painted the words open on it right so I want to do the back because it's been two and a half years I think it's time that I put closed on the other side what do you think right a hangover melody <laughs> Oh my gosh, dang phone, hanging basket. Oh, okay, I was starting to think things, Melody. I was starting to think things, but we love you anyhow, right? You love that color, yes. Yeah. So this is the Bahama Jade showing up okay here through the, uh, the lens of Facebook. So I'm gonna do this side uh, to show you how I got that look on the other side because, like I say, I've sold so many of these doors and people still come in and say, how do you get that look on those doors? So you know what? We're gonna knock it out tonight. We're totally gonna knock it out. Hey, Olga, how are ya? What are you guys up to? All right, so I'm gonna use Bahama Jade. Love this color. All right, love this color, of course. Uh, Junk Monkey Paint, our very own brand. And all I'm gonna do is use my fabulous chip brush, okay? I sell these in my store for 85 cents, all right? So I know you can get them places too, like hardware stores. Chip, spelt C-H-I-P, just like I am a chipaholic. I also like to use chip brushes, all right? So when I start off on a door, this is how I think, even with a piece of furniture or anything, hey, Bobby and Karen, what I do is I look at each piece, okay? So versus, if I were to take my brush and paint all one direction with this door, I'm gonna tell you, it ain't gonna look so awesome, right? Who makes up the names for your paint colors? Oh, me and the hubby, and then once in a while, I also have um, paint contests on here where I get your help as well. Um, so if I painted it all in one direction, it's really not going to play up to the details of this doors. 
If you can find doors that have the inlays in them, those are the bomb, right? They're awesome. Can you see posts? Yes, absolutely, Lee, I can. Yep. Paula, hey from Ohio. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So when I look at this piece versus painting everything in one direction, I'm actually gonna take it piece by piece. So this door is built with this section right here. Do you see what I'm saying? It actually has panels that make up the door. So to get a really cool look, I start with each panel and I give them, oh my gosh, so you just love it when the first little bit of color goes down. I get so excited. This is called dry brushing, okay? So gone are the days when you would have to actually strip things and, um, you know, spend all kinds of money and time breathing chemicals and, and going through that labor intensive uh, process of trying to, um, you know, just get, get uh, a finish off the door so that you could paint it. Of course, with our Junk Monkey paint, you don't have to prime or sand or strip. So I'm going to go right over it, all right? Like, look how pretty that is. Hey, Andy. Hey, Beth. How are you? What are you painting today? You're always on something. Yes, never painted a door. Well, let me just tell you. Can you see that already? Like, yumminess, right? So I start off with each piece of the door in my mind, like the pieces of a puzzle that make it up, all right? So the panels are long ways, so I'm going to paint long ways. I just put a little bit of paint in the corners. Nothing crazy there, because really I want my paint to pretty much lay in the center, all right? Because when things distress, they are more darker around the edges, and your paint would go more so in the very centers, right? The very centers of the doors. So that's kind of what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to work my way around and watch how it comes to life. Hey, Marsha. I know, girl. I love that color. Love that color. So now I'm going to go up here, but this time instead of coming down, I'm going to go across because this is how this door is made. So by just using this particular brush, I would lie, be lying if I told you, you needed to buy a certain brush that costs a ton of money. You just need for this distressed look, which you guys know that I am famous for, love my, my shabby distressed look. I've been painting distressed style now for about eight years. Love it and still haven't gotten sick of it. Um, people say all the time, do you have to distress? Nope, that is totally up to you. For me though, I do love, I love an old look, right? Hey Karen, oh you can tell it already, can you? If you've got the vision, you know that this is going to be gorgeous, right? So now these strips of the door come long ways. So I'm going to do it an injustice if I paint all over that. Rather, I'm going to play up the beauty of this door by painting it in sections. And now I'm going to pull my paint down, okay? Pull my paint down. And what I can do is, you know, like I say, I want to leave some darkening in here in the edges. And so when I do some extra distressing, what's going to happen is you're going to see some dark, some dark places really start to open up, okay? So this is just paint. I haven't done anything with this door, nothing at all. So if you have even doors in your house, like you want to make a really fun pantry door, or um, I'm trying to think here. I actually painted my bathroom door. My bathroom door is like an olive, like a dark khaki olive green with um, white. Okay, so it's a white, and you can see the, uh, the, like the dark green coming through, and it gives it a really cool distressed look, right? You can have fun with it. And then if you get sick of it, just paint it again, because it's only paint. And our paint will stick to the last layer, layer that you put on, right? Nadine, you love my style. Oh, thanks, girl. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's why I created this page, right? So that we can all hang out here together and get inspired. I love the projects that you guys have been posting to our page. Oh, my gosh. Keep doing it, right? So when you post something to your personal page, just hit the share and share it to Junk Monkey Paint Company. And then I'll get notified. And then I can make sure it lands right on our page, guys. So we can share it and uh, how many of you have gotten ideas from somebody else who's actually posted to the page and then you're like, oh my gosh, I got to do that too, right? So, all right, so now I'm going to go to the other side. Remember, this plank comes this way. So I'm adjoining this door like pieces of a puzzle. If I looked at it as one big piece and I just paint it up and down with my brush or all over, I'm going to tell you, I wouldn't get that same look. And one thing that you get as you start to use and do distress style is you get to have a more steadier hand, right? 
Marsha, her husband would kill her if she painted the bathroom door. Since he made it to look like a ship door, well, that sounds to me like you got a pretty cool door, right? You might want to keep that one. That's a really cool. A chip brush is just a cheap brush. Can you guys see that? It's, um, I sell them, like I said, for 85 cents, so I know that if you shop around, you can get them as well for maybe around a dollar. Absolutely. Oh, girl, you know i got to have some colors in our uh, selection of paint that we do because I am a girl who loves color. There just ain't no way around it, right? Ain't no way around it. All right, let me pull you in a little bit closer. What do you guys think so far? Isn't that beautiful? That is just the brown door, and that is the Bahama Jade on top of it, okay? Love it. The key is having that brush, and of course our paint that sticks on with that awesome color. I'm gonna actually pull the camera down just a little bit so you guys can see me when I paint the bottom. Yes, Brittany, that's exactly right. Big bundles of chip brushes for $12. You go, girl. You go, that's exactly right. Design on a dime. No need to break the bank, right? No need to break the bank. Okay, I think you can pretty much see the bottom down here. All right, let's keep going. I would love it, guys, if you would share this video. In fact, I'm feeling froggy again. So let's do a giveaway tonight, all right? Share the video, type shared, and, uh, and I'll just pick one random person, okay? And we'll send out a mystery paint color to you when the post office opens up tomorrow. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Karen. I appreciate that you've shared. Thank you, Marsha. That's awesome. Yep, so just share and just type shared so I know to include you that you want to be a part of the giveaway. And then stay on and I'll announce a winner and give you 20 seconds to holler back at me. And if not, we'll pick another winner, okay? Can you guys see that okay? How pretty is this? How pretty? So here's how to cheat. If you have a door right now, and it can be any color under the sun, um, if you want to get this look, all you have to do is paint it brown. So paint it like, for example, our, um, our brown or candy bar brown. We have one brown. It is the perfect brown. Or you can paint it black as well if you want something that's a little more dramatic. But I would paint it brown underneath if you have a door that is any other color but this antique brown look. And um, then you can cheat it, right? This is the very same process, except you create that brown look yourself. So what do you guys think? So, so easy. Who else is a color lover out there? Tell me. Because I think I have all kinds of colors adding up in the front part of my shop at this point. I've been painting polka dot planters. I've got a yellow lamp post, used all of our junk monkey paint on everything. I've got a teal and a brown sign. Let me see, what else have I got out there? I don't know, I just keep adding more and more color, right? I am that uh, crazy business neighbor who you don't know what they're gonna put outside of their, uh, their shop. True story. True story, right? So what's everybody up to today? Did you guys get a holiday where you are? Tell me, did you get a holiday? Did you get to sleep in a little bit? What have you guys been up to? Oh my, I'm loving how this is coming out. I'm not even finished yet. Can you guys see that? Like how awesome is it? Thank you, Krista. Hey, Joan, how are ya? Is there a link on your Facebook page to order Jug Monkey Paint? Yes, if you click the big blue Shop Now button at the top of my Facebook page, or you can go yourself, uh, if you just plug in www.junkmonkeypaint.com. Very, very easy. Brown, did you say brown for a backsplash? Heck yeah, you could totally do that. You could totally do that. Oh my gosh, guys, I am loving it. So today we are, I know, Dawn, four days until Fort Ligonier days. Yeah, absolutely. We have been uh, burning the midnight oil. And uh, so we're here behind the scenes packing and shipping paint and getting caught up in everybody's paint orders to get them out the door. We probably have, like, tomorrow we'll probably send that around 100 orders out tomorrow. We have not stopped. So it's, uh, it's been a busy, busy times. And then, of course, do you guys know, I've mentioned it a few times on here, but I actually started a, an online group where we meet behind the scenes. It's for all my, what I call my biz buddies, right? It's, uh, it's an area where we meet up behind the scenes. It's called Monkey Business um, Creative Coaching or Online Coaching for Creatives. So this morning, I did a coaching call with my biz buddies on there. If you guys are interested in joining, if you're somebody that uh, wants to get your hobby off the ground and really turn it into a business. You guys know that I was able to leave my corporate job. My husband was able to leave, leave his corporate job and now we work together right here at Junk Monkey Paint Company. But it all started on the couch with a dream, right? That's what it was. Oh, very, very nice, Lori. I like that. 
You've loved the in August where we painted every day. Yes, I'm planning another challenge. I will tell you, okay, for you guys that are on here. But I have to get through Fort Ligonier Days, which is coming up this weekend. So we've been really, really busy. And uh, so I don't want, I want to make sure that I get that taken care of before I commit to do another 30 day challenge. But I've been itching too, I have to tell you. Hi, I've been itching. Anybody on here that um, is in my Monkey Business Creative Coaching Group? I would love to hear from you. I know Lori is. I just saw Lori's comment. Absolutely. So here's something that's really cool for those of you who are in the group, if you haven't heard already, or for those of you who are thinking about joining every month, you not only get access to me and we talk about different topics to help grow your business, but I'm so excited because on Wednesday we have uh, Melissa Ricky of Melissa Ricky Photography. She's going to be in the group live. And uh, she is going to be talking about photography. Now, let me just tell you something that she just did a photo shoot for the baby of the couple that just won um, Bachelorette in Paradise. Like, seriously, anybody else still watch The Bachelorette out there or The Bachelor? So anyway, she just came off that photo shoot. She got to shoot the baby. Like, how cool is that? So she's going to be in our group talking about um, just tips for, you know, to take better pictures uh, better lighting, all those things to help when you're um, when you're a creative out there, and maybe you're doing hand painted things. So, for example, if I were to sell this door right now, you know, I'd want to take a nice picture of it, right? That would be important. And then, anybody know about photography, Beth? Yeah, as creatives, we're good at a lot of stuff, right? <laughs> we can't help it. The link to join, if you go to um, styleshabby.com, so www.styleshabby.com, and then you'll see coaching, and you can click that. It's $14.99 a month. It's really easy. I run my business very, very easy, okay? I would never want anybody to be in my group that doesn't want to be in my group. Right now, we have over 70 people, and it's growing, and we meet up in there every week. So every Monday, I train on a topic, and then I'm also meet up with you guys live in the group and answer any of your questions. And plus, we have one to two guest speakers in a month. So Melissa is going to be in um, the group on Wednesday. And guess what? Who else is in this uh, in our group this month? Who knows the turquoise iris? Who knows my awesome creative friend Dion Woods? How cool! She's going to be in the group as well, taking live questions. So when you're in the group, you get access to me and other just amazing creatives that are just killing it in business, right? that are taking a dream. Um, I know Dion, she actually works from home. So you don't even have to have a brick and mortar store. So I'm so excited for everybody to get to interview her, talk to her, and learn from other people, right? So the whole thing is with learning from other people, um, they don't have to be, you know, yay far ahead of you. Just learning from somebody that's a few steps ahead of you can really help you out, right? Yeah, Patty, I love her page too. So. Every month we have fun um, visits from creatives that join, join in and uh, make themselves available to you guys. So it's awesome. So yeah, if you want to join, just go over to styleshabby.com and click coaching. But you can stay as long as you want, leave whenever you want as well. So I keep it easy. You guys get to manage your subscription. If you sign up, I let you in the group, and then if I see that you decide to leave, that's okay too. I just let you out of the group, so there's no commitment or anything like that, right? That's how I like to run my life, so I figure, you know what, it makes it easy in business as well when you do things simple. Keep it simple just like that. So what do you guys think so far? No more brownie frowny. Would you do this for like maybe even a pantry door? What do you think you do? So just as a key, now that I've done this, I might want to put a little bit more color in the center. Because remember, in the center is where distressing probably wouldn't happen so much, right? Beverly says you're learning lots. Uh, oh, well, thank you, Beverly. I'm so glad that you're in the group. We have fun. All right, so there we go. I'm going to put a little bit more in the center down here as well. Just to kind of darken it. Because like I said, distressing always occurs around the edges, right? So if you want something to look natural then think about how it would naturally distress in real life. I'm going to add a little bit more. I will tell you, when I started with this can of Junk Monkey paint, um, I didn't have much in the can, but I know from experience, it does not take a lot. I think I might have had like this much in the can, and I barely used anything of it. So there you go. Now, I've got a few other things to do at the store, but I've got to dry this first, right? Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing, Sharon. All right, so let me take my handy dandy uh, heat gun here. 
and dry this up really, really fast. At least some parts of it so I can do some distressing for you guys. Yay! Hey, Lynette. Hey, Kimberly. Somebody just wrote they love how laid back I am. You know what? I'm going to tell you. I don't know. I, I just, I like life that way, right? I like life, no drama, easy peasy. You know what? We're all just trying to survive and get through it, right? So why not be happy? Why not turn on your favorite music and take some time in the day to do what you love or to chase your dreams, right? Like what is it that ignites you? What are you passionate about? I'm going to tell you, I was very good at what I did in my corporate job, but I knew this is what I wanted to do because I could not wait to get home at the end of the day to take off my high heel shoes, my pantyhose, you know, my dress suits, and uh, get in just my, my stretchy pants because that's where my heart was, right? That's where my heart was. And I would tell you, if you start a business and you do something that you love, you're going to go further in it. But, of course, you got to do something. You might have the greatest idea, but you've got to get it in front of people. So this is the kind of things that we talk about in our group um, and encourage each other to do. So we've got some fantastic ladies in there. And I'm so excited because they're even just getting started with their logos right now. And I'm going to tell you, I wish I had somebody... I wish I had somebody on my shoulder saying, Here, here's some mistakes I made. Here's some things that I think that... Um, could really help grow your business and so that's where my heart is right I want to teach you guys how to do this stuff so easy do it on a, on a dime and also if you're creative to help give you some ideas of how you can grow your business too all right let's see here let me put this back real you can kind of see it's still shiny in parts and that is because let's see somebody said it's my Canadian blood that's so funny <laughs> that is so funny Matt's pretty laid back too so I'm laid back Matt's laid back who's my hubby my partner in crime so we have a pretty mellow yellow sun as well, right? We make, we make mellow yellow babies. <laughs> He's pretty, we gotta check to make sure he even has a Paul some, some days, right? All right, so let's go ahead and do a little bit of distressing on here. What size tripod do I use? I'm gonna talk about that. Joan, are you in my group? I can't remember. Um, I'm gonna talk about when we do our photography session on Wednesday at noon uh, with Melissa Rickey, I'm actually gonna show you the lighting that I use and some tips that I've learned Believe it or not, for those of you who follow me, you might know that I used to be a journalist back in Canada, and I went to school for, for journalism, right? So photojournalism was a part of that, and so I've learned some tricks to do with the camera. So I'm going to share all those sorts of things, right? Hey, Tanya, with an I. You have an antique door made into a vanity. Oh, my gosh. That sounds beautiful. All right, so here's where we get to add some extra magic, all right? Now, if you thought this looked pretty darn cool before, let me just tell you, my friends, Go get yourself a medium grit sand pad. You can see I've used this over and over again, much like with my brushes. Love using my sand pads over and over again. And now I'm gonna give it a little bit more distressing, okay? So can you guys start to see that right there? So I really wanted to make the distressed look really appear and play up these panels. If you can find doors that have the panels, grab them. Because what you often find, you're often left with the ones that are not so fancy, right? So, but these here, it's like much like when you find furniture that has um, furniture that has lots of detail and that sort of thing. Oh, Tanya, you're doing your first junk monkey project. Oh my gosh, you go, girl! All right, be, be sure to post a before and after to our page here. Can't wait to see it! Oh my goodness, I'm excited for you. I'm gonna tell you, when you start, you get that feeling like you can paint anything, and your husband should be very worried. Yes. So. I, I really need a flashing, blinking light in my store so that it says, warning, you know, you may become addicted. I can't help. Marianne, you're in Myrtle Beach. Are you kidding me, Marianne? You're in Myrtle Beach. And I like how she put up the little beach umbrella emoji, too. So jealous. So jealous. Hopefully you're having cocktails right now. You deserve it. You deserve it. So, can you guys see? I'm just doing some distressing around the edges just to give it a little bit more. Now, this is still wet in here. I'm not going to touch that, and I would not want to do distressing in here anyhow, right? Because, like I say, the distressing is going to uh, happen on the edges, the raised detail, and if I really want, I can also do some more distressing around the edges here to really, really play it up, to even chip off a little bit. Another thing I like to do is turn my sand pad on its side, so you can you can use your flat edge, 
but don't forget your side edges as well. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Can you guys see that? So, so pretty. Oh my gosh. Yes, I ship to all the states. Everywhere in the U.S. I wish I could ship further, but with the uh, border rules, I can um, only ship within the country for paint. Um, yeah, it's fifteen dollars, so much cheaper than driving here, right? Seven fifty each way to get your freight to you. So you can do up to um, six products in your cart, and because uh, that's what we can fit in a flat rate shipping box. So flat rate shipping of fifteen dollars. All right, I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna leave it at that. Get the stress of getting some of the edges here, where some of the some of the um, the areas connect, right, to make it look really old and wretched. But what do you guys think overall? Is it a winner? Is it a winner? Oh my gosh, that was such cool distressing up here. Hello from me. How are ya? Oh, there we go. Like how pretty is that, right? Don't you just love it? And I did remember to take a before photo. Let me put it all the way out here so you guys can see. You guys see that? Randy, I know I love the color too. I gotta tell you, love, love the color. So there you go, hopefully you can see it. What would you do with it now? Would you put this, like I say, for a pantry door or something like that? Do whatever you want. What's really cool too is if you get an actual door hanger and then you put a wreath on here that you really, really love, you could put it in the corner of your living space. So remember, whew, I'm out of breath talking. It's a lot of work, people. Um, so what I was gonna say is if you put your door upright, that it's gonna make your room feel taller, right? So if you've got a smaller living space or you wanna really draw attention upwards, having a door in your space, maybe in the corner, hanging a wreath on it, put an end table in front of it and kind of put your decorations, put your chair next to it. It was a great way to fill out a corner or that one space that you have in your home that just needs something, a corner, right? Doors are perfect for that. All right, I think we should give away a winner. All right, did everybody type shared? All right, this is where I do the, just the scroll with the fingers. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, you got it, absolutely. So let's see here, let's see here. Bear with me, Sherry says she loves, loves, loves it. Loves, loves, loves it. So this is how technical I am. I'm just gonna scroll up. We're gonna scroll up, we're gonna scroll down. We're gonna scroll up, we're gonna scroll down. And whatever the lucky finger lands on, then I'm gonna holler at a name and hopefully they're here. Love your hearts, thank you so much. All right, let's see here, let's see here. All right, we've got a winner. So I don't know this person, so I don't know if you're in the US or outside the US. Remember what I just said, so if you're outside of the US, you still get an awesome gift. We'll send you maybe a Junk Monkey collectible t-shirt, okay? So Sharon K. William Smith. Don't know where you are, girl. Comment below if you're here and tell me, you don't have to tell me your address, right? We'll all show up for supper. But uh, just tell me what state you're in or where you are located. Let me know you're here. And then what I'm gonna get you to do is email us so we can get your actual address. So like I said, we don't all show up over at your house for supper to hang out, okay? All right, let's see here. Let me scroll back down to the bottom. Help me find if, she's, if she uh, commented. Sherry, Sherry. Did Sherry come here? Help me find her. If anybody's seen her, be sure to tell me, all right? Be sure to tell me. All right, let's see here. So I'm gonna rely on your help. Rely on your help for Sherry. Sharon, sorry. There we go. There we go, there we go. All right, so when she shows up, Say, she's here! All right, so I don't miss her. So, can I take any of your questions while we're waiting for Sharon to talk to us? Anybody want have a question for me? Anything that I can help you out with? Do you have a question about the paint? Maybe a project that you have in mind? Yes, Annie, we should all go for supper. I totally agree with that. <laughs> uh, you guys are so uh, kind to say. That's what I love about our community, right? Only here for encouragement and support. That's awesome. Yay! All right, so yes, if anybody wants to order, just go to junkmonkeypaint.com or you can click on the big blue button at the top of the Facebook page as well, okay? Thank you, Marianne, that's so kind of you. All right, let's see if Sharon shows up here. Anybody see her yet? I'm not sure, I'm gonna give you 20 seconds, Sharon. Sharon, I need you to be, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. If not, we'll holler at a new name, okay? We'll holler at a new name. So yeah, any questions? Be sure to let me know right now before I want to start. What should I do next? Okay, so all you gotta do is get a project. I always encourage you guys 
Okay, I got a couple good good deals. All right, so to start off for your project, go find something that you like. I always tell people to find something um, that's small to start off with because it's an easy way to kind of get um, you know get some confidence and to um, just start small so you really see how the paint works, okay, before you get into something big. But I promise you, once you start, then at that point, um, you can't stop, okay, because that's what happens, absolutely. Uh, somebody said, can you paint laminate furniture? Yes, you can. If you're working with a piece of laminate, I will tell you that you kind of have to be just a little more gentle with it, though, okay, because laminate doesn't have wood pores, so it doesn't really have anywhere for the paint to go in. So the paint will stick to the surface, but there's some things that, I'd, like, if you're working on furniture, that I would do is recommend using things like, so this is for furniture, that you get, like, a uh, bottle of gloss off. It's a great way to get gloss off. It's made by Crud Cutter. Crud Cutter makes a version of the clean, of the product for cleaning. They also make a version of the product called Gloss Off, okay? So what it does is it gets rid of that shine that's on the top and it makes it more grippy for the paint. Another way you can help just ensure that you're gonna get a good finish is if you get a medium grit sandpaper and go ahead and like really just kind of rough it up. Think about when you go to um, the nail tech, right? And they kind of buff your nails a little bit before they put the nail polish on. It just helps your nail polish stay on better, stay on longer, so you know, definitely do that, all right? I love versus sandpaper, I do sand blocks, all right, always important. Yes, my chip brushes get used over and over again. This is green on it. Can you see there's also purple on it? There's, the, there's our Life is Great. There is also our uh, ginger spice. So this has been used three times now. I love it, I just wash it. And um, so it's so, so easy. So, so easy to do, right? All right, did anybody see Sharon? Did I miss her? I swear I didn't see Sharon come up here, right? Can somebody tell me, did I miss her? Was Sharon here? If not, we're gonna holler out another name. We're totally just gonna holler out another name, all right? Yes, you can seal your furniture after. So um, I tell people that if, you're, if you have a piece of furniture that you're gonna be using, maybe you're gonna be eating from, maybe there's gonna be glasses on, that sort of thing, seal it because that makes it wipeable. And a sealer, you can seal with the wax or you can seal with a poly. Those are pretty much the two avenues that you go when you're going to seal a piece. I have another, Sherry. Um, so I think I should pick another, Heather, I agree. So those are the two, um, the two avenues that you can go and to seal, wax or poly. You don't have to seal. When I do like decor and signs and stuff like that that's going to hang on the wall, I do not, I don't even bother to seal. You don't have to, right? I just washed my brushes with some Dawn dish detergent and some warm water. All right, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and pick another because it's been more than 20 seconds and I haven't heard, way more than 20 seconds, and I haven't heard. I like to give her lots of time, but all right, let's go ahead and see somebody stayed on here and shared. Let's just find somebody here real quick. All right, let's go. How about Annie Fuller? A-N-N-I-E-F-U-L-L-E-R, Annie Fuller. Are you on here, Annie? And tell me, girl, if you're in the U.S. or what country you're in, because as our page grows, there ain't no saying where you're from, right? Tell me where you're from, and let's see here. I love how I just managed to turn off my uh, comments. Phew, we're back again. All right, let's see if Annie's here so she can claim. Annie, help me find Annie. Get down to the bottom again. <gasps> there you are, thank you, thank you, thank you, yes. Okay, Annie, I'm assuming you're in the US. If you are, um, it doesn't matter where you are, I'm still gonna give you something for free anyhow, but all you have to do is message us at junkmonkeypaint at gmail.com and send us your home address so we can all show up for supper. You're in PA, oh, there you go, well I'm in PA too. All right, so uh, message me over junkmonkeypaint at gmail.com and then we go ahead, seal bedroom furniture for sure. And um, that way I can get your address. Ah, wonderful, thank you so much. Well, thank you for being on here, Annie. I appreciate everybody who shared tonight. And we had some fun, all right? So I'm gonna send you a mystery color, something fun. You just saw her, awesome. So yeah, totally paint your bedroom furniture, but definitely seal it because bedroom furniture, um, you know, you're gonna put things on top of your dresser, you're gonna be doing your makeup, all those sorts of things. So you definitely wanna make it seal. So imagine sealer is like when you take a picture and you seal it in. And you take a snapshot, you get it just the way you want it to look, and then you seal it in. Make sense? All right. So hopefully you guys have been inspired to paint something tonight. So easy. You can do this just stress defect as well, just with this brush. 
on any piece of furniture that you want, okay? So this was a wooden door. It was really thirsty and really, really hungry. Um, and Christy, if I were to seal this door right now when I'm done with it, I may write the words closed, let this dry, and then hand write the words closed over it, and then I'm gonna seal it in right. But I'm gonna use a poly. My favorite poly is made by Minwax, and um, I'm gonna probably go with a satin. That's probably my favorite sheen that I go with, but you can pick whatever sheen you want, okay? So with a dresser, would mouse in the house be a good neutral color? Yes, so I sell a lot of mouse in the house. Um, it's a medium gray, a classic gray. It's not like a purple gray, like our uh, fuzzy blanket. Um, that's a purple gray, right? So, and then we have blue slate, that's a blue gray. Uh, mouse in the house is just a true medium gray, so you can pair a lot of colors with it, and you don't have to worry about it looking like a different shade, right? So, so easy. Uh, you're so welcome. All right, guys. Well, you guys have a terrific night. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you on here again soon, I promise. All right, maybe tomorrow. We shall see. Talk to you later. Bye.